Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships presented by Q Sports International, sponsored by Predator Q's, Cyclop Balls, Kamui, Omega Billiards, being held at Griff's in Las Vegas, Nevada. Posh Billiard Room, the nicest one in Nevada. I'm in the booth today. This is George Teixeira and the corner man, Freddie Ognier. Hi, George. How are we? What do we got here? <laughs> we have a great matchup with you. For you, it's Torsten Holm and the Hitman versus Kim Laksonen from Turku, Finland. Turku, Finland. Turku, Finland. Tor this is their. F this is uh, Torsten's fourth match. He had a bye, defeated Jesse Bowman eight to four, and then he lost to Dennis Grabe eight to two. <laughs> you can pronounce it the way Dennis yeah. Grabe, but Grabe. Grabe in the, he's going by Grabe here, but yeah, Grabe. Grabe here. That's right. Here we go. Kim, on the other hand, uh, defeated Mario Hay, 8 7. The He Man. The He Man. Then he defeated uh, Vinny, no, I'm sorry, he lost to Vinny lost Calabrese. To from Australia. Uh, 8 to 5. And then he's had a couple of matches on the one loss side. And let's see if we can get to those real quick. He defeated Jesse Thehu and Ernesto Dominguez and Scotter Woodward. Wow. So he's played a couple more matches than Thorsten has. And broke dry. Broke dry. Almost lost the cue ball. Broke yeah. dry. You just had a good match. Uh, that uh, the cause of the, the the switches and turns in that match, the twists and turns, was dry breaks, didn't you? Yeah, it really was. Um, yeah. You know, uh, Vilda, uh, Vilmos Folmesh, Vilmos Folmesh, Vilmos Folmesh. Uh, he came up dry a couple times late, and of all the times to come up dry in the break, he was. Uh, yep. You know, you don't want to get go dry anyway with uh, with a race to eight. But well. We're pretty far along here. We've got eight players that are still on the winner's bracket. Sure. And we've got uh, quite a few struggling, <laughs> struggling in the, in the on west the one side, lost the side, one the west side, side, the B side That's of the right. bracket. Uh, all the uh, A side bracket or winner's brackets, I have started their matches at 3 o'clock. And they're playing. You've got um, Shane Van Boney versus Josh Roberts, Rodney Morris versus Lee Van Corteza. Let's see if I can get you some more matches. Dennis Orcuyo versus Nick Malage and Alex Pagalayan versus, versus Dennis Grabe. Grabe. <coughs> Grabe. So here we go, off it, and running. Torsten, of course, is a great eight ball player. He won an IPT eight ball event. I don't know if he's won the World Eight Ball Championship, WPA, but certainly has the game to do it. Two or three time World Straight Pool Champion. This guy is a you know, this is the type of game European player that really works with eight ball well. They play a lot of eight ball in Europe anyway. They, they, don't, they don't play so much here. We don't play so much eight ball, professional eight ball here. But, but of course, uh, Torsten is now from Florida. He's been in Florida now for a long time. Mm -hmm. He just came off a tough win uh, over Oscar Dominguez. Wow. That's like in the back table. In fact, I got the pleasure of watching part of that as I watched Roberto Gomez defeat Manny Perez. Or Perez, as you might say. Perez. Uh, but we've had all kinds of games and matches here. And it's all been pretty exciting to watch. Well, uh, interesting tidbit here. Torsten gave uh, Kim Laksonen a little bit of uh, advice. Kim didn't realize that we're playing by CSI eight ball rules. We are not playing by world standardized rules, WPA rules, and of course, from being from Europe, Kim would be used to the WPA rules. They vary by just a little bit, but one very important part of any scratch on the break is full table ball in hand under CSI rules. It's not full table ball in hand under uh, WPA rules. Is it behind the head string? Behind the head okay. string still for WPA rules. But this is a CSI event. A little clarification on the mm -hmm. rules. Perfect. And I know it's already happened with Kim that he did not take full table ball in hand, but he's here right now and hopefully didn't cost him any other games, mm. any games. <coughs> well, there was here's Torsten, the hitman. We've seen him man. all week with because he's got the Kamui commercial. Yes, <laughs> we've seen quite a bit of him. He's in there pumping iron and <laughs> running and being fit and, you know, all these good aspects of a healthy lifestyle. That's right. Interesting shot there. He decided to draw back to and use the eight as a blocker. Now he just has to negotiate between the two, three, and pass the four ball. Unless he's playing with the other way. It looks like he'd be going this way. Oh, he's going off the three ball, and he's, he's missed, missed the shot. Him. He's missed the shot. Big opening for Kim. Huge. There was 52 entrants to the U.S. Open. Eight ball. <coughs> this is 
So uh, the monies are a little different. First place is 13.5. Second place, 7,400. Third place, 45, and on down the line. Uh, the, after this match, these guys will be playing to get in the money. This is the match that gets them to the money. This I is guess every match. Does, every but match, <laughs> right. But this is interesting yeah. miss by Toasty because he's left a 1-5 combination, and the 1-5 isn't a straight-in combination. Looks like the 7 is right in the way he can't actually make this ball. It looks like there's actually no ball that Kim can just shoot straight in. Maybe the 3 ball past the 5, but stepping up there for your first shot, you'd certainly want something a lot easier than this. Mm-hmm. And after he's got, he, the young man is so confused, he's been holding his brake stick all that time. You see, this three ball does not really want to go. There's so much can go wrong here. Confused or excited, one it, of the one other. One of those. Yep. You would think this would be so easy, the one five combination, but it just oh, no, sits a slightly shot. wrong here. So. If he's a little bit to the right of that five, to the left of that five, Either ball, way, he right? gets the six and doesn't, the seven, seven doesn't go in. Yeah. And of course, if he goes the other way, that five won't go in. Well, watch him just make it easy. Nope, nope. They went it went to the other side. It was exactly that. Unbelievable, but he never considered playing a safety off the sixth ball. Yeah, he's banking Or any ball. kind of safety, you know. You think he would. He, yeah. Uh, there was uh, a lot of balls to get behind. It, it's almost one of those cases where you just had to shoot it. You just felt like you needed to shoot it, but it seemed like the safety was probably the better play. Now you're, you're letting a world champion bank at a ball. To and he banks well. I think they all do, you know. Yeah, he's a professional nah. player. <laughs> I, I've seen him bank. Uh, I saw him bank a couple against uh, Oscar. They just start the run. He took a bank shot instead of a straight in. Oh, he had it so good that it was. It fired I mean, he had out. to stiff it up, and it hit the face of that yeah. side pocket. It may have caught the point more than anything else. And then once again, this isn't an easy first shot down these tables. He's almost going to be forced to be shooting the six ball. Does he? Can he make that one ball? He might be able to make the five. Oh, the four ball straight in, of course, yeah. but everything else that he can't make. Yeah, really. the one ball goes. Well, once he makes the one ball, it's going to be pretty easy. It's going to be a picnic, you say? I think so. Hope there's no ants. <laughs> He's smiling a little bit because it's just, it's just a little tricky. It, it shouldn't be, but he's yeah. playing on the big stage here. With so many balls surrounding the hole, he can't find an opening right. shot. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. So he's going to come over here for the one. And another grim. And it looked like yeah. he wanted to tap the three. So he's going to be playing. He either plays the one. He can play the one, or he can play the combo, too. Yeah, he's playing he's the one. Reaching the, for the one. And that three five is just laying funny, and he's going to be smiling He'll again. He'll be playing the seven ball. I don't yeah, there's the, the head three, shake five. again. Will he play the three five? You know what he can do? Well, he could play the three one and play position uh, behind the seven. So if he misses it, it hangs up. But he's behind the seven, doesn't give up a shot. But do people think that far ahead? Do they think about possibly missing a shot like this? That's the question. Well, he's not going to be thinking he's about missing gonna, the seven. He's not yeah. going to miss it. Maybe says, breaking out the three. Yeah. I, it's just, nah, just, just funny enough, you know. I think he's playing for the five all the way. But no, he's breaking out yeah. the three. Yeah. Dang, that's I thought he was going to do that because he hated it so much he had to do something. But guess it, what? This is no picnic. There's a couple diff different ways of playing that, and that's the way he chose. Yeah. Feels like he has to play the three ball up table and play safe behind the eight ball. If he makes it, he gets out. If he doesn't, and what? Because uh, he's left-handed. What patches are, is, uh, is Kim sporting there? Is that Tom Tips? Tom Tips. And he's also, uh, he's also sponsored by a uh, hometown billiard supply place. I wonder if Hustlin gave him some shirts. <laughs> billiard in Yinti. Oh, how close am I? Billiard in Yinti. So there he goes, playing the three ball, just cozying up behind the eight ball. If he makes a three, he gets out. If he doesn't, get behind, if he doesn't make the three, the, uh, the 13 is blocked. That's the right shot. Well, he's negotiated. He's negotiated this table. The problem here is he actually made that ball. He probably would have rather not made the ball. Now he's stretched out again as the left-hander. He might consider playing the six ball, but he doesn't. He'd probably oh, play he's probably right handed He's got to play the six ball. This has been a very funny rack. <laughs> it's laid funny for him. Yeah, and trying to follow forward here. The 13's huge. There you go, You're playing the six. He's taking your advice, Freddie. He's going to play this six ball. 
Um, and it's funny, he's really been grinning because this has been nothing but trouble for him. Well, pro or not, this is an easy exactly. ball. Exactly. Is. This isn't, yeah. He's in. He's, he's liking it. He's liking look this. Look at his position <laughs> that he missed. There you go. Jump bank shot. And up for the eight. Probably in the corner pocket, I would think. Side. Oh, he's going to draw all the way back mm -hmm. for the side. He's there. Yeah, that didn't, that, that laid too straight to try to play position two rails for the eight. So he just drew it back up. And boom, first game goes to Kim. Right. International field. Very much so. Not an American on this table. Well, you know, the hitman is, uh, he's lived in Florida now for so long. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't get his citizenship soon. I think he'll still claim to be from, is it Germany? Yes. Germany. He has his own line of clothing, trying to get that off. He's sponsored by Kamui Cyclop. He's got some interesting shirts. He's got one with the long sleeve on the left, short sleeve on the right, and the collar off to the to uh, angle to the left side to keep it away from the cue stick when you're down on the ball, so you don't hit your buttons in case you get too low low to the ball. And Isn't the the purpose of the long sleeve is for sponsors, uh, sponsor <laughs> emblems. It's not for the compression. And the compression. Keeps the arm warm, he said. Okay. Watch this break. See how, watch these things just explode when he hits them. A kicked up table, but very good break. Yep. A lot of balls up table. Interesting that these balls in the rack area didn't move. We got a 15, the wow. 10, the 4 really don't go anywhere. Um, well, he's got, he's got one stripe tied up. He's got one solid tied up. Other than that, everything is open. I think he's going to play a straight pool breakout here. Maybe uh, maybe the two ball first and then a straight pool breakout to tickle out the 4. Unless he thinks he can make the 4 clean in. He's got, mm -hmm. a, he's got an alleyway between the 8. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so maybe he'll slide over for the 4 ball right now, but the 8 ball still doesn't go. He's going to go right between those balls. Uh, can't tell if he got there or not. He looks good, but he really needs to get that magic rack out of the way because the cue ball, if he's going to go backwards, is going to be spinning out. Yeah. He's got. I would think he'd go backwards because he needs to clear the eight. Right now, the eight ball doesn't go anywhere. It, 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 this, the above angle does not look like he made yeah. He made it to that pocket. Now he's going to be a little bit in trouble. Um. Oh, Could be. He's in go. trouble it's right trouble. here unless he gets a shot. <laughs> Everything is trouble. That's, yeah. uh, Every bump is trouble. And now it looks like he'll play the, the six. <laughs> he'll play these three balls, the six, the seven, and the one. Get position on the five to break out the four. More than likely is what I'm thinking he'll do. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes all the way down table by the ten ball. I think he'll try to get on the four ball right here. Yeah. All the way down to the ten ball. Come He's got to get an angle. And he didn't get an angle. He's going to be shaking his head. He can make the four, but he can't yeah. break out the eight. Now, this is goes back to what I said earlier. He makes the four and mm -hmm. draws back, but that magic rack is right there. Who knows what happens when he's spinning on the magic rack. He's playing for the one ball next. He's got to hit the ten, though. And he did. See, it, it, I think, well, maybe the ten got him, just, just uh, stopped him, but it looked like the magic rack was in the way. But how do you get the magic rack out of the way? Should get out here. Well... It sits very nicely, the one to the seven. Perfecto. Oh, wow. Very well done. Will he go two rails or straight back off the seven towards the five? He wants to be on the same line he's on right now, but closer. I'd be going two. Yeah, I think it comes in nicer. But he went one. Mm -hmm. It's just a preference there, um, which you do. This is a nice run out. I mean, a lot of things have to happen there. And we're tied at one. Both gentlemen winning on their break. <laughs> yeah, and there was something else going on on, on uh, Kim's break, but Kim got there. He got there. He got there. Either way, he scored the W for that one, that one game. Now, if he can hold his serve here again, maintain his uh, 
Break. Break. Break of his, his, mm -hmm. his serve. Maintain. Maintain the serve. Serve. Yeah, they got to get this. They got to win this game to be. This is for 13th through 16th. And they're paying to 12. They're playing to 12. And they're paying to 12. 600 bucks for 12th, 9th through 12th, 1100 for 7th, 8th, 16 for 5th, um, 6th, and 4th is 2800. Oh, right on the button. And nothing and a ball in, is in. Two balls are in. One ball is in the corner pocket, the three ball. And the way the 913 lined up, you think he's going to play the solids. Yeah. They can get to the it's two ball. iffy combo on the 913, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Very iffy combo. <laughs> Looks like if he get to if he gets to the nine ball, that leads to the five, and you know that'll solve solve the rack, and it'll be about execution from there. I suspect the one one ball to the two ball. Well, let's see some of our international players. We got Kim Loxonen. You got Torsten Holman. You got Roberto Gomez, Filipino. You got Dennis Orcullo, Alex Pagalayan. Dennis Orcullo. <laughs> this is oh, pretty good. It's all right. He's all right. That was quite a tricky shot there, trying to draw it over there instead of draw, following above the two. Yeah. I guess he wanted it below the two. Almost got it into the drink, but stop shot here should really spell the end of this rack. Oh, he don't probably get too want, high. Yeah, he probably wanted more of the five than the two, but settled for either to get to the five because that's where he could get it out. Forward for the four, then the six, or probably just stop either way. Right to the ten. Uh, yeah. There you go. And really, this is uh, should have no issues getting these balls out. He may play yeah. the six so first instead of the four ball. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, there and then either is. one here. Well, I certainly don't want the four ball at last, last. on the side. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing about having it for the side, though, is he's so close to the seven that he can get to where he needs to and be on the correct side in order to shoot the, the ball to the side. But this is very nicely done, and he ends up with perfect position on the eight ball. They're very nice and enough. Boom. That's boom. what he needs, uh, just the easy yeah. out so that you get into the mind of Torsten that he's not going anywhere. Well, after this three o'clock uh, round of matches, there's only going to be two guys left on the one on the winner's side, and that'll be your hot seat match. After this no, there's going to be four guys. I'm sorry, I got that wrong, didn't I, Freddie? There were eight. I do think there were was eight, eight, to, start. eight yeah. to start. So now you know what my math is like, guys. That's right. The three, the three p, three p.m. winter side has eight p, eight. There's eight. There's so eight people. Four, four matches. That. Will be one match out of the hot seat. Excuse me. Down to the final four on the winter side. See, so Torsen just put it, put the balls up there and didn't really fiddle around with them. Sometimes you got to make sure those balls are leaning into each other or else they are not as tight as, as you might think. Mm -hmm. But he's got a big break. But he did have balls hanging around the, in, in the rack last time. And if he doesn't tighten those balls up, they'll still be there. And he, they certainly got out of there. Balls in. Well. Looks like the eight balls hanging on top of the magic yeah, rack. Yeah. The nine yep. ball, five <laughs> ball is, is the tricky part here, but it certainly looks like he's got to shoot the high balls. Unless the five ball passes somewhere, but certainly the look at the one ball doesn't go anywhere either. Mm -hmm. That one doesn't go, the five is tough. Looks like the 12 um, ball is probably the shot he's going to shoot. 13 Unless he can shoot the 10. It looks like the five goes in the side, so. Get below it on the, and, on, the, uh, on the bottom side of the table. Yeah, it's tough. The nine goes in the side, so that would break up that that combo right there. Just if you get down there, you could open up the four, the fifteen, the fourteen. I get those two confused quite a bit. I have to look twice. Yeah, I mean, the, if, the, if the nine goes in the side, yeah. then, the, then the fourteen, the fourteen actually all might go already. It's close, but in here's the, the twelve right ball. Twelve. We can stop on the twelve ball or just 
punch forward. He may have drifted over behind the ball. He might be shaking his head here in a second. Well, if he, he's in good shape here, because if he can't see the 13, he can see the nine. And then he can just play the 14 to the opposite side from the angle that he's on, at. Just fall forward just a hair. I I believe he's now he's going to come all the way back and move this Oh, ball. and he tickled the ball. He's not going to like this. He's not going to. Yeah. Well, he's got bad here. Yep. He's not going to like this at all. Oh, boy, he's oh boy. Just barely bumped that ball, but that's what happens when you bump balls. Mm -hmm. He's playing but that he 14 up, up table. Up table. Oh, he just missed that, too. Yeah. Oh, he's got to get that magic rack out of the way if he's going to shoot the 14. He'd probably like to have John do it because the eight ball sitting on top of the magic rank. He went to remove it, and um, the ball, you know, you could see it was going to move the eight, so he stopped. A ten ball in the corner, or can he actually make oh, this fifteen? He's going for the fifteen. Well, if he can make it, then that's great. But the eleven ball goes nowhere, so from that side. Tough shot. Nice he's shot. Stay away that from was it. a tough shot. All right. That's another scramble. Another scramble. Hmm. He'd love to be able to get straight on the 14, but he can't get there. Is he going to try to get on that 13 I, again? I think so. <laughs> this will be the third attempt the at third it. third attempt at it. But he's bumped the three ball already, so he's got a bigger window now. And if he bumps the three, it better be perfect, because he can bump it and go into the corner. He can bump and go underneath oh, the seven. Yeah. He's going this way. <laughs> and he got there for the 11. Now he'll he, now he'll Straight get a nice 14. yeah he'll get a nice angle on the 14, and uh, either follow for the 13, yeah. or go between those two balls again. <laughs> yeah, I think it's he's done with trying to go between those two <laughs> balls. You know. Well, you know he's he like, could I tried he, it. I tried yeah, it. You're I tried right. It. He says the heck with this. I got to stay on the other side. He's got a little. Is he on the wrong side again? It looks like he's got a little angle to go right. And that he just looked at where he has to go if he goes to the to the right of the table. And he is punching over. He's, yep. he's got to hit this hard, I think. And he looks and he good. hit it perfect. I would move this I rack. Move this rack, rack too, rack. because you got to spin or just go up the table. You never know what's going to happen. About two and ten, the magic rack. I think it will impede <laughs> the ball is when you're going real soft by it. Yeah. And if he's shooting with that magic rack, like in line with the with the shot, <laughs> we have to draw it back. The cue ball might mm -hmm. spin right on that magic rack, but well, Toasty gets through. Either way, ties it up two to two. The hitman ties it up, and uh, we're tied at two. They're holding serve. Meanwhile, on the winner's side, Josh Roberts playing Shane Van Boning on the next table. We can just see him in the background. Mm -hmm. Josh is just shooting. And behind them, I believe it's uh, Rodney Morris. Rodney Morris, then Lee Van Corteza. And Lee, Lee Van then Van. Then you've got Dennis and um, I forgot who the. Dennis and someone. Can't I'll, see. I'll get it for you. I've got the bracket here. I just got to get to it. <coughs> Dennis and Nick Malaj, and then Alex uh, Pagalion and Dennis Grabe. Or Grabe. He says, uh, in my part of the country, my name is pronounced Grabe. In this part of the country, it's Grabe. And oh there boy. goes the cue ball. Huge break. Little basketball shot off to the side. Bounced it right off. And here comes that situation. Ball in hand, full table ball in hand under the CSI rules. And there's actually a good look at that uh, collar on his shirt. The collar Veering on off his to shirt. the left. See how it's veered off to the left, mm -hmm. angled off so it doesn't interfere with the cue the, the cue when he gets down over the ball, the hmm. buttons and stuff. I guess he gets real low to the gets some players get very low to the to the cue, very close to it. The cue right off their chin. That's a good shot there because the twelve ball is probably the only trouble ball and it really wasn't a trouble ball at all but mm -hmm. you play for it then it doesn't become an issue whatsoever big break for Torsten
Interesting that he played that way. I wouldn't think that he'd want to play that combination from this angle. angle? You, you want to come across that ball instead, or because that 10 ball can, come can just the go forward, yeah. right? Right. <coughs> Why and, I didn't play it. and he's f sort of forced into a situation which, which is, would be strange in eight ball to play a combination as easy it is, as it is, a play combination as your last two balls. Almost never want to do that. He may not play the combination, Freddie. Oh, yeah, 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 you're absolutely right. He yeah, may he play for play the 14, 14 uh, clean and then the up, up table, of course. You're absolutely correct. But if he does, he's going to have the cue ball, you know, over to the left. And no matter where the 10 oh, goes, no, he it'll is playing be the combination. The okay. Seeing the cue ball's yeah. coming over there, so, right. so he's ended up okay. doing it, and he's okay. And it is a little strange. I'm sure everyone that's looking at this, this is saying that. How are you? What do you mean you don't do that? Of course, <laughs> but you try definitely try not to do that. And there was a good uh, rail first shot mm -hmm. for position on the eight. Oh, the hitman looking great here. Quick there. That was like about a one minute, thirty second run. These matches have been there. They're scheduled for two hours, and most of the TV matches or the stream matches have taken about an hour, haven't they, Freddie? Around that. Yeah, pretty close to an hour, an hour ten. Uh, so it's going pretty quick. Things are going good. There's the man right there. He just came in to pick up his book. Did you want me to sign that, Bobby? The author, the author of Confessions of a Pool Huster, Mr. Robert LeBlanc, a.k.a. Bobby Cotton. Why do they call you Cotton? Yeah. He likes saying my name. I like saying Bobby Cotton. <laughs> Bobby Cotton and Cotton Tails. Or is it Cotton's Tails? That's a little tough to say, Bobby. And we're going to Cotton Tails, I think. Real oh. quick. Here, man. Two, Two to three. three. And the, the hitman has the break. in the lead and the hitman breaking. Yeah. If you hold serve, it'll be four to two. And only way um, Kim can get back up is uh, to break serve. Somehow, some way. Watch this whack. He's been breaking them pretty well. Oh, yeah. Oh, great control That's here. That's as hard as I've seen anybody hit the break and control it. Uh, half the, more than half the balls are in, are in the kitchen, I think, or <laughs> just about in the kitchen. And the cue balls at the head rail on top of it. Jeez. Yeah. Froze to the rail. Which well, five balls are you going to shoot? Yeah. Both balls are good to shoot, and but he's only really having the low ball, so... As long as he got, he has some kind of angle, which he really doesn't. He's got, he has a hair of an angle, so he can punch out, but it's not that simple. Yeah, he's got a hair of an angle, so he should be okay. Well, he's eyeing up the whole ball of wax here. Mm -hmm. Well, he's got two balls down on the other side of the table, and he's got five balls. They're real close to this one. And they all lay so nice. I mean, <gasps> my lord. Yeah, Lem, he did have a hair, of, just a hair of an angle, and he hit that way too hard for what he needed. But look how far he punched out. Of course, he overcut it, I guess, but he tried to punch that out. I would have just assumed he was punching out for the six ball, not for the center of the table. That's what I thought. I thought he was just going to drop back softly for the six and yeah. then get on the one, yeah. take care of the two, three, come down for the two on the bottom, and good night. But and the facings of these pockets, you know, the, the pocket is four and a quarter, yeah. and he fired it in. He there. really did fire yeah, it in did. there. Now it's a, with an open table. And Kim uh, Laksonen should be able to get out here. It's pretty wide open. Uh, Toasty is probably beside himself at this point. Oh, he, he, he turned compose, away from that table. It was like his face turned red, and he turned away from the table pretty quick. Was not happy with the result of that shot. Yeah, Kim's got to make sure he's got an angle, which he does, a little bit of an angle. Angle enough. Doesn't want to get in the same trap that Toasty just did, having to fire out a ball out, off of the face of those pockets. Oh, he's short here. Uh, he's okay. He can, he can come down for the two ball, come down for the four ball. The yeah. two ball plays out in the middle there. He has a whole left side of the table by the side pocket to play shape for that. Yeah. But I think yeah, he'll yeah. get rid of it before. I say he came up short here because now that he's got this angle, he needs to get perfect on the two so he can get perfect on the four. As it is, now he's got to work a little bit, but I think he should be good here. Perfect on the four. 
there's the issue. He, got, he has to get perfect on it or else he can't get to the seven. A little high is no good. He can, he can get to the seven right here, go two rails to the side rail and come to the seven and come up for the four if he likes. But he's going to play for rails. the four. Oh, he's going to get a tickle there. Yeah. He just bumped that ball, which makes it okay. If he was, if he was too low, he would have had to been forced to go off the eight ball. Mm -hmm. And why would you want to do that in a run out? I think any, with anything but straight here. He's Good got shot. plenty of angle. Very well done. <coughs> the nine ball becomes a, problem, becomes a problem here, so he probably just played in the side, side. pocket. I think he'll don't he'll screw around with this. Mm -hmm. He'll just come up for the for the side because he could go around, but this is a lot this easier. Lot it takes easier. everything out of play. Can't overrun a ball, can't get behind a ball. And he gets out in a huge error by Torsten Holman. And so now he's with a back on serve. Back he got on back serve. His, he back got back serve. his serve there. Torsten asked a bit much of that pocket. Wow. He and did it fire it. It really looked like he just needed to stun it out just a little bit, but mm -hmm. he fired. And he had English on his ball. You uh, just don't expect to miss a ball like that. No, but I'll no. tell you right now, you know, I, I play quite a bit of one pocket, and when I fire shots like that to get position on some ball that's way up table, <laughs> that's what'll happen. That's what'll happen. Tables. You know, they, they come right out. You're not going to fire me in at you warp speed. Not down the rail. Kim Laksonen from Turku, Finland. Just got a, a game back. Tied it up. His break. Let's see. Let's see if I can name some of the players that uh, have been ousted. Illuminated. Eliminated. From. Um, and five ball didn't drop. The 13 is not going to drop. Billy Thorpe. Sina Valizade. Valizade. Well, Sina from San Diego. Ernesto Dominguez. Well, Pops Mills. is always, he's always a, a threat. Chris McDaniel. Chris McDaniel from Colorado. Mm -hmm. Mario Hay. Mario's out? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Chris Calabrese. That's uh, Vinny's brother. Vinny's brother. From Australia. Australia. Walid, Walid Mahed. Walid Mahid. Mahid Head. Mahid. 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 Okie dokie. Those guys are now out. Uh, Emily Duddy. Carl Boys. Well, Carl uh, didn't make it to his match this morning. Chris Melling didn't either. Hmm. Good shot here by Torsten. The 7 2 pair are the only trouble balls, or are the trouble balls for for the low balls, and he's forced to shoot low balls. If he taps on the 11 ball or the two ball, should be wide open here. And he is. Hunter Lombardo, Jimmy Henry, Max Eberly, and then of course we just saw Vilmos. Vilmos Fodesh. Go out. That was a good match though. Some funny things happened in that match, but. Mm -hmm. Well, he was leading, and I walked away at uh, four, right when they were, I think, tied four to four or something like that. And I come back, and he's like uh, two or three games down, <laughs> a couple games down. Stop shot in the sixth ball. Uh, I guess he was trying for the one ball. He drew back a little bit too far. The one ball goes, but he didn't have to shoot that. Next, now he has to shoot it. So as you can see from the overhead, there's uh, just a little bit of room between the four and the nine, but the nine makes that side pocket big. Mm -hmm. But still, I think he would have rather not had to jack up and punch this ball in. Just makes the shot a little bit tougher. And so you see he pounds it around. And he's okay. Two ball does go, go past the 11. He'd bumped that 11 ball already out of there, so should be a stop here and maybe a stop or stun on the four ball to the two ball. Where does he want the eight ball? Probably the one of the corner pockets on the bottom. Well, only one of them is available for him for the, the eight 11 ball. 11 ball stop him, the yeah. 11 ball does stop him, so. 
If he can get to the two, he's probably gonna go to the two and then come up for the eight. Yep. For the opposite pocket. He might shoot the two ball, uh, a ball yeah, up. up he table. might, yeah, he might come up and, and shoot it. Uh, is he looking at the side? It doesn't really go on the side, I don't think, no. but there we go. He's gonna he's gonna do something here. Looks like that's what he looked at. He looked at the side. I saw him glance at it. He's shooting right at the side. He's gonna call it. <laughs> he didn't want to travel his cue ball far, so he just played it there. The thirteen is big and he did hit it. Did you see it? He, he did hit, hit it. He hit the thirteen. But not very much. Not huh? very much, but that could have been disastrous. <laughs> He hit that with good pace. It did. It just, 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 just touched the 13. 13 just rocked over. A couple more players that have had their uh, U.S. Open eight ball ch uh, champion uh, dream come to an end. Come to an end. Uh, Mark Vidal Clermont. Spain of it all. Mm -hmm. Sal Butera. Sal Butera, son of the. They call Sal son of a gun. Son, son of, of a gun. Son of Hall of Famer. Machine gun Lou Butera. Jesse Thehu. Jeremy Gradwall. Gavin Douglas. Quite a few. There were 52. We're down to, let's see, we've got eight on the winner's side. We've got two, four. Well, Torsten, uh, his last break, very, very big break, and he made a mistake on the first shot. But let's see if he can get that out of his mind and keep going, because he did steal a game back. Not really stole it. It was a great run out. Perfect control. Ball is in. Eight balls traveling up table. Another good opportunity for the high balls. As long as this 11 goes in the side pocket without an issue, he might actually shoot it first. Yeah, I don't see him taking anything but stripes. Yeah, that one ball is tied Not up over there. There goes a 15 on the side, so the 11 ball must lay pretty easy. It can go in both corner pockets too if he had to. Look at him want to move that four ball. That's perfect. To open up everything for the eight. Either side. I can come in on either side, he says. Yeah. Well, he's not shooting the 11 now. No, no. But the 11 does. You can see the 11 does go in the side pocket from pretty much a big range of mm -hmm. angles. You can go forward here. Two rails. Right to the center of the table. Right to about the center. Oh, you got to hold easy. up. Hold easy. up. Hold up. He went pretty far. A little far, but he can see the 11. Yeah, he's okay. Thin it and bounce back out. He'll come up for the 13 next, probably. Yeah. The tricky part is those three balls, the 12 mm. ball, 9 ball, and 14, because they're so close to each other, now you have to play that short kind of position, but he's a straight pull player. I would think that he wouldn't have a problem. Easy and perfect. Except yeah, he's perfect. Yeah, I think he's good. Doesn't, just don't lay it on the rail yep. after he shoots this 13 ball. If he shoots it, I, I can't imagine him not shooting it. If he does lay it on the rail, I suppose he'd go all the way down for the 12 ball in the corner pocket and come up, bump the five. But if you can shoot the five, you shoot the five. I mean, it's the nine, <laughs> then you shoot the nine. <laughs> yeah, he's looking. See the little hop there? Just a little bit lower probably would yeah, have been good. He, he wanted just a little more angle to come up or be yeah. able to play the nine and come up for that. But no, it's, I think he's forced to shoot the 12. Yeah. Let's see what he does. He's just a and little tricky. And give it a little stroke, so he has to get up all the way for the 14. Drawing the nine ball into the five, I think, is what he wants to do. He's got to force himself to do it anyway. No, he went way past. I don't think that's what he wanted to do. <laughs> I don't think that's what he wanted to do. Maybe we can ask him later or not if that's, if that's what he wanted, but that's a way down table if that's what he, he actually wanted. Way down table, but on the right but side. But on the correct side. Yeah. Just slide this in. Get an angle. Should be fine. A couple ways to get to the eight ball. Don't touch anything. 
Yeah, probably go two rails or straight up. Well, it depends on what the five ball is telling him to do. And there it is. Pretty good. I know it's a long shot, but should have no problem from the hit man. You know, his, his cue is so dirty. <laughs> It looks it, like the Revo. It <laughs> does. It does. And don't, you know, some Q mechanic would make a mistake and clean that if he didn't want to clean. He, you know, if he wanted to yeah, clean, it'd already be cleaned. Clean. Sure. All right. A lot of people like that patina on there. The patina. Well, well he, uses a, he uses a glove, so. Yeah. So the stickiness isn't going to be an issue, mm -hmm. if it is at all. But he doesn't want it cleaned. <laughs> Plays with a Lucasi Q, I believe. And uh, looks like Kim has a uh, Predator BK. Predator is one of the sponsors. Yep. Shooting cues and Mez cue. He's going with the open handed bridge and going less speed. It worked. And what will his first shot? Oh, don't get in there, get all tied up. <laughs> his first shot? Uh, Probably go rail first on the 11. No, I'm not sure. He's got uh, yeah, long but shots. Nothing right. but long shots. Neither ball looks very pretty. No. If you were to choose one, I suppose the high balls would be the better choice. But those three stripes right next to the five ball aren't exactly inviting, and he really doesn't have a good first shot. That's yeah. Eleven ball it is. Commitment to the out. Crashes into a ball. Doesn't have much of a not shot. Not much of a shot. I'm not In fact, sure there is no shot. Yeah, I'm not sure that 12 ball goes by the one to the corner. It doesn't, look, no it doesn't look it from here, but it's really close. Yeah. But, and if he can make this ball, maybe he'll get rewarded. Very I difficult. I think he has to Got about play. half a pocket, it looks from here. But I think if, the, if we had a camera right on there, it'd probably be a whole ball. Mm -hmm. I think he's forced to play it regardless. He can use some a left English to get up for the nine or go back and forth for the 15. He can also draw it, two rails, and go around everything. That's he a good shot. He chose the draw. Let's see if he gets rewarded. Well, he's got yeah. something. At least he doesn't have nothing. And really, if he makes this shot, he's got a great shot to get out. Good opportunity to get out if he makes this shot. Yeah, he's playing. Handful playing of balls are moving here. And he's got to make sure that he doesn't tie up a ball in his an exuberance to make a ball. Good shot. Now he'll probably play this 15 ball, come up for the nine, and then play the one next to it, which is the 14 for the eight. Yeah. This is deceptively tricky, so I'd like to stroke this one out, play the nine in the side pocket. And there Perfect. it is. Just don't get too far. Perfect. A little bit of an angle, huh? Just a little bit of Just an angle, so he's got to scratch his head a bit, hmm. going the wrong way with this cue ball. But I don't play think it. he's going to flail and fire away. Yeah, it's a slow roll. Play it soft. And now there's a six ball. How's the six ball, uh, seven, uh, six he, ball he, look? He can, stay, he can stay underneath it, I think. If he bumps it, he's got a shot on the eighth right. corner. So it doesn't matter if he hits it, unless he goes to the wrong place. We well, just but took a look at this, so fine. he knows whether he's or not. Fine. He he's already knows. Fine. This is yeah. good. He's fine. And four to five. There you go. Good job. He of opened course. up his hand, hit it slower, got the cue ball, the two balls behind the head ball. One of them went in the pocket, I believe, and then he got out. Good shooting. I like his demeanor at the table. You know, he's just cool, calm, collected. Seems to be cool, calm, collected. He's probably, nerves are probably raging inside, but probably. he seems to be real cool. Calm. Probably. No problem. Not turning red. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Take a look at uh, Josh and Shane. Someone's up five to two. 
Rodney and Lee Van. All right. How much room do I have there? Uh, you got it. Someone's up six to th Lee Van is up six to three over Rodney. Mm. I just saw him move. Uh, flick a bead. Move the bead. He flicked the bead. Yeah. Big break here. You know, the pressure of this alternating break is trying to hold your serve. Torsten has been breaking really well. Oh, my, yeah. He's been smacking the balls as hard as anybody. And the cue ball in control. In control. Look at Very this. much control. Ball stopped. That little bump might have gotten yeah. into trouble, but there's a ball that's hanging there, the 13. He's and uh, the eight ball is the toughest ball on the table, and he may choose to hit the low balls because the eight ball is getting covered yeah. by the by the low balls. Yeah, he four on the side, I think, is what he's going to end up shooting. What do you think? Oh, I think the four on the side, I was going to say, if he couldn't see the four, he can always combo that 10 ball in, but that's tough. Yeah, the He's playing the four. You know, the, the, the solids are a little tough, but the, because of that six, seven, and one being where they're at, um, yeah, you're almost he's gonna you're take, forced to shoot the solids. He's going to take that. Good shot. This ball goes. Yeah, he's taking care of those two down there. Now he's just got to come up and take care of the traffic on the right side of the table after these two. And he should be on six. But let's not count our chickens right. before we're they hatch. hatch. Yeah, I mean the one ball is tricky because it only it, it will go after the seven and six are out of there. But the seven and the six will be the last two balls. Five ball end up ends up being is it the five or the one? The one ball seems to be the uh, it'll end up being the last ball unless Torsten decides to do something else. Mm -hmm. as you can see there. Well, if he decides to do something else, it's going to be a lot tougher. That's right. <laughs> he know, has something to else those, to do. He's got to move those first two balls in front of the one. Right. He's even considering shooting. I don't know. If, I'm not sure if he's considering shooting the one in the cor lower corner pocket. I doubt that. I'm sure he's not considering that yet. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> not He'd have yet. to get awful funny because he'll come right. up here for the six. Yeah. Might even play the combo. Play the combo and play position yeah. for the one ball. In case they both go in. Yeah. yeah. But he might just also play the six, come for the seven. You know, there's so many ways to play this. I think the combo is the right play and you cut to the left of it, mm -hmm. of the one ball and come across. A lot easier to control these balls when you're coming across them. Mm -hmm. Combo it is. See, it cuts to the left of that ball. That way, there's mm -hmm. no way for it to uh, to, to drop Follow in. Follow in, sure. Yeah. Sure. And then you'll come to the left side of the one, more than likely. I don't see him going around, so. Yep. Pretty simple. Mm. Looks like he has to tap the eight. If he can miss it, then he's got to hit it hard enough for the cue ball to come back out. So feels like the rub of the eight. Again, this is more like a straight pull holding it. I thought he was going to avoid the eight, but he went ahead and no, hit it. I think, uh, if, he, if he tried to avoid it, he'd have to hit it harder because then he'd be yeah. going way away from it. Good route, good out. The one ball did prove to be a little tricky, but he certainly solved the trick. He's a trickster. Good Six shooting. to four, and Torsten just needs to hold serve. And again, back to the pressures of the break. Kim needs to have an easy break and run to keep that pressure going because sure. If Torsten wins this game, he'll be on the hill and breaking. And then that gives him several breaks, or a couple, at least two breaks to win. I think he has that already. And with as good as, as he's breaking. Yeah, he's broken <laughs> very well. He's broken as good as anybody I've seen I so think far so. on the street. I think so. I mean, he's held the cue ball every yes. single time. He hasn't flown it. No. Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been hard and controlled. He's going back to the closed bridge. Like he forgot that the open bridge, <laughs> he came up with a pretty easy break and run. Well, he could have ended up with a little bit better than that. You mean froze, mean froze against the seven? Yeah, and he may not be able to see the six. Or the 14. But that'd be 15. really unlucky. No, he can't see the six. <laughs> he's on the, he's on the wrong side of the seven. He can't see the fourteen either. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's <laughs> he's in a tough place. And he's saying, let me take this off, and maybe one of those balls will move. 
throw the rag and drop it by accident. Oops. Maybe it'll move. <laughs> Unfortunately, if you move two balls, it is a foul. It's close. He's saying that he can shoot it. No. Oh. And this is a great angle because we can see the eight ball does pass in the corner pocket, so you can just pick him out. Oh, there you go. I was looking at the table. Yeah. Uh, that's there's a little point sticking out from that corner. So he had a lot of that ball to hit. Yeah, because he hit more than he needed. That's right. But he cut it less. And now he's he just touched a 12 ball into the eight ball, and that eight ball may not go now. It's going to be close. Oh, it's past. It probably goes. It does go. If it still goes, then Let's should see if we can be get that camera angle again, Tim, for the eight ball in that corner. Still goes. Yeah, still goes. Still goes. Thank you. Torsten will just play these balls then. Nothing to do. Both the five and the seven go into the corner pocket. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of shooting them. Probably the five ball will be last. All execution here. Let's see, how he, let's see how he maneuvers the six and four. Yeah, it feels like he'll go seven to the six if he can get to the seven. He's got the seven straight in, it looks like. Come down for the six. Yeah, I'd like to lay this right four. on the rail. He's perfect. Boom. Five ball on the side, eight ball in the corner. Yeah. He's, this is right by design. Perfect pattern. And the two oh. rail. He came up short. Uh, but yep, sure did. Just so much for the perfect look. pattern. Yeah, it was it certainly yeah. going there, yeah. but now he might, if he changed his mind, which I wouldn't be surprised, get this one about to the center of the table, past, just past the center of the table. He can go two rails here if he wanted with a four, but I think safer is to go. He's got two ways to get to it. Yeah. He can go underneath the eight or he can go above the eight off the side rail. Yeah, like He's going underneath the eight just like uh, you there designed you it. Mm -hmm. And then just play the two railer. Mm -hmm. Big, big area to drop it here. Just stay off the cushion. The yeah, get is up good. there. He's, he's perfect. Gonna be dead straight. Perfect. Good recovery on that. Yeah. Mr. Home is getting a dead punch. That's right. And he's on the he's hill. Zero in, zeroing in this table for speed, went two rails and laid it on a dime. And breaking for the for the match. Breaking for the match, Torsten home in the Hitman versus Kim Laksanen. This would leave, if if Kim loses this match, that would leave him 13 through 16, oh. one match out of the money. Is that right? Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's see where he's at here, 13 through 16. Yep. So here we go. He's broken the balls just about perfectly every single time. Oftentimes you end up putting too much oomph on it in your last break, breaking for the case. <laughs> and you called it. He put more oomph <laughs> more on oomph it, on and, it and, uh, and, uh, and it paid well, off. He did make a ball, so that's good. But, yeah. oh. Made the four in the side. What else did he make? Is that all he made? I think that's all he made, and he's going to have to shoot the high balls because that's the easiest shot to shoot at. And I think the high balls leads him to be able to break these eight 10 out, which are his trouble balls. The eight ball doesn't actually go anywhere except for the low right pocket. And now it doesn't go anywhere because there's a three ball right in its way. You know, you're, it's just right. There's just no opening shot on a solid. All right. And the solids are not that great either because the six ball. But you could break out those balls if you had solids yeah, you've got with a seven ball. The seven, the five, the three. There's several. But there's no shot in the low Leading. Balls. 
balls that get you there. He's playing. We can all see what he's playing. 15 and the hard punch. <laughs> he's pretty straight. Don't smash this. You know what happens yeah. if you smash this. We saw him do it last time. Yeah. Well, I think if he stops on the nine, he's got the angle to do whatever he wants with his six, eight, ten. He can stun right across from the nine for the 13, then the 10. He's, he's got some options. I think once he moves the 12, the 10 ball goes to the pocket on the right. Yeah, that's true. So if he get, takes care of those three and slides over, then he'd be in good shape. But let's watch, he's gonna start with his 14 ball. And he says, forget, I guess we're just oh, gonna hello, he's one. gotta move the eight. He may yeah. move it right now. If he's got an angle to it, he's got does have an angle, yep. so he can move to it. He wants to pick which ball he hits here. Probably the six. Slide it to the rail. It'd be straight in on the 12. Opens up the eight. Let's see what he does. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes behind these balls. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did, because the 11 ball was his, mm -hmm. uh, his ball to play. It wasn't even insurance. He was playing the 11 ball all the way, I think, but... The 12 ball ends up being insurance because he can shoot that right now if he wanted to. Yeah, why not? Coming straight back. Wow. You've got to get to this 11 at some point now. I thought he would take the 11 now and then come up uh, for the 10-9. Right. Well, let's see what he does he here. can't get to it now. He's... <laughs> The furniture has been a little bit rearranged here, so yeah. whatever was happening before, the eight ball's already moved halfway up the table. If he can get on the 11, which I suspect he can. So oh. maybe oh, what is that? Going for oh, well, the 11. Well, he got there. Oof. Oof. Going for he barely got there. He could. What's he's, he, not he's happy. He no, just, he's not he, happy He, he wants it cleaned. I think the ball chunked out on him, so. Yeah. Should we have? <laughs> he wanted. He's looking for a referee, but he's already asked. Kim, if he can clean this ball out. I like what he did there. He put the chalk on the right side to the rail. And there'd be no question of whether or not he had uh, shape on this ball, which mm. he did no matter what. But if he put it on below or above that ball, it might be some kind of question if he, he spotted it in the right spot. But putting the chalk on the right, you couldn't spot it any better than that. One ball is huge. Good view of his stroke there. Coming right at the one. It's and huge. Right behind the one. It's huge. And uh, he has this ball, I believe. I believe he has this ball. It's close. And if he can get it in there, boy, oh, boy, because he can't mess it. Going the wrong way. <laughs> Never easy. Murphy's Never law. easy. The one Murphy's ball was law. huge, and he hit it right on the button. If things can go wrong, they will. You can see this ball. You nice see shot. Going the wrong way and nice shot. This one doesn't have to go. This is no hanger. No, nope. but this is what he wants. This one's for the win. Torsten Homan moves on. Great tournament for Kim Laksonen. Signing out here, you have George Deja and the corner man, Freddie Ognier. We'll see you in just a little bit. A little bit.